All right, so we got the mushrooms home. And we made a little sack for them. You just gonna dump them out or what? No, just leave them in the sack. Yeah. Hey, get cold water from the bowl. Yep. Okay, I might need to get you some more water. And then two tablespoons of salt. That's that's one full thing. Gonna kill all the bugs. Kill the bugs, get all the sand out. Doesn't have to be perfect. Here, just do it right over the water. Up there? Mm -hmm. This do is it my right over the water. It doesn't need to be perfect, though. There you go. It's good. Okay. Let, go ahead and put that in there, too. Okay. Now take each mushroom and slice them in half. So like, like that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can cut off the, the vase too. Sometimes there's to, dirt and stuff on there, but to, like, sure. That. You can leave a, you can leave a little bit of the stem. Like that. Yep. Toss them in. Oh, it floats. Yeah, you, you kind of have to push them down and swirl them around a little bit. Okay. That is what we'll do to the rest of this bag of mushrooms. Then you leave these overnight, and then they'll be ready to bread up tomorrow. Sweet. Get to chopping, boy. <laughs> Two. To send off first. Here, dude, why don't you cut off the, the base okay. first? There you go. Well, yeah. See how it has all that dirt and stuff on there? That way you don't yeah. even bother getting it in there. All right. All right. So he just finished cutting them all up. As my old grandma would say, that's a mess of mushrooms. Just to call them a mess. Get them all soaking in there and then we'll put them in the fridge overnight. So I counted a total of 50. 50? That's how many we picked today. Perfect. And there's at least another 50 out there. Oh, so got I hope they get more. bigger. That'll be kind of neat to see if they get bigger. Yeah, we'll probably go back and pick the, the problem uh, is dried on, ones as well. In a couple of days, it's supposed to get to be 90 degrees here. So Monday. they'll be. Yeah, so we'll have to get out tomorrow. It'd be good if some rain came tomorrow. And then yeah, tomorrow maybe they'll grow. Because they were just barely popping out. So yeah, some of them. All righty. Okay. We need to do the next step with the mushrooms. We're about ready to cook them. From the salt water that we soaked them in overnight, kind of swish them around, and then kind of shake off as much water as you can. Put them on this paper towel to dry them off a little bit. You don't need to squeeze them too much. It's in there for the Is it cold? No, it, it's like, it's cold. Yeah, that fridge is just about frozen. Okay, Luke. They're waiting for some. They're perfect eating size. So then you like dunk it in there and then you just like Yeah, just put like a small group of them like this. Kind of put them in, swish them around. Get them covered in the egg. And then just plop them in there and then you shake them around, I think. Correct. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. That's good. Now I'll go ahead and put them one by one on the plate here. And we'll get the next batch getting started here. 
here. Oh, those look tasty. So what'd you use, breadcrumbs? I used cracker crumbs and panko. Here we go. Okay, we got oil heating up. We should be able to put a couple of, see how they bubble? We should be able to toss our guys in. Hear how they start popping? Just kind of put them in gently. Put some in Tanner. He does, he's worried he's gonna get popped. I've seen you get popped before. Oh yeah. Just go on. Nice cast iron skillet. Those look good. What do you think, Tanner? They look good already. Ooh. Yep, just like that. Especially whenever you get going, it looks like they pop a lot more. One of my buddies sent me a link, or not a link, but like a Whoa. a post. Somebody found 136 pounds of morels in one day. It's popping all over. Supposedly they're selling for a bunch of money. Oh, they're already starting to brown. See, Tanner? Yep. You just flip them around. We're going to have crunchy, crunchy... No, Man, they, they cook really fast. Yes, they do. That was like four seconds. Well, you gotta have the oil at the right temperature. You want them to cook really quick so that they don't absorb all that oil. Ivy's waiting. Look at her proper spot. Begging black dog. If you did this in a fryer instead of pan frying them, you wouldn't have to turn it. But. We used to have one of those fryers, but I don't know what happened to it. Oh, I don't know. It's, I kind of prefer the pan frying anyways. Okay, so we're gonna get two batches out of this. And oh, nice. Here we go. Now you take them out of the oil, put them on a paper towel so that they'll drain the oil. Oh, they're crunchy. Oh man, I love the little crunchy ones. Little bite-sized nuggets. That big one is gonna be interesting. I can't believe how fast they cooked. I mean, a couple minutes at the most, maybe? Yep. These are quick. It'd take a while to get prepared, but... Yeah, it takes you longer to prepare them than it is to cook them. <laughs> they'll probably be gone pretty quick as well. Yeah, they're not going to last too long. All right. So from to farm to food. In less than a day. Less than a day. Okay. Want to turn them? No, you can turn them. Okay. I'd wait just a little bit, but see how they're even starting to brown a little bit. Some of them. Yeah. Put these over here. I had to try and flip them. There you go. Okay. Max is over there trying to hide. Second batch is done. They are crunchy. Chicken's almost done on the grill. Here we are. Not ready to eat. Ready to eat, Tanner? Eat those things in our mouth? Huh? We're gonna do some eating? 
eating. All right, I'm ready to try some. Okay, here we go. All done. Oh yeah, it's like still popping. Yeah, you want to get one of these ones down here? You want to try one? Or do you like one of these? Sounds crunchy. You mm. good? They're really good. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> Perfect. All done. Mm-hmm. Good job. Tom. They're super crunchy. What do you think, dude? They're like Very a little good. popcorn shrimp. The key is to use crushed up crackers. That's what makes them awesome. Oh, uh, crackers? I don't know if you can hear the crunch, but it's like... That's who? What? Your grandma said to use crushed crackers. Oh. That crunch is amazing. You can like just hear it. Yeah. All right. Yummy.